This is Tanya, an old college friend of mine. She came to visit us all the way from Germany to help me bake this year's Christmas cake. Of course we did other things too and we had a lot of fun. It was lovely to chat and joke in my mother tongue German with an old friend. All gonna be soaked. Did you get that, Tanya? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, was? <laughs> Ich weiß gar nicht, was ich jetzt brauche. Wir, wir müssen alles einweichen. Ach so, okay, okay. Ich trinke jetzt erstmal Kaffee, weiche mich in Kaffee ein. The trick with this cake is that it tastes best when it's been resting for a month or so. A traditional Christmas cake in our part of the world is made with lots of dried fruit. Tanja was in charge of weighing out all the dried fruit. She was very accurate. <laughs> we cut up the glazed cherries. And the apricots. And compared the state of our fingernails. Wir machen das doppelte Rezept, damit Tanja einen Kuchen mit nach Hause nehmen kann. Bla bla bla. Bla bla bla. Good. Bla bla bla. I have no idea what you're talking about, but that looks nice. Aber. That's good. Sieht ja nicht arg nass aus. Äh, Maßschneiderin am Werk. <lacht> oh, hang on! <lacht> also schau mal, da, da wird doch so viel verschwendet. Mach das mal in die Ecke rein. Jawohl! The next day, Tanja prepared the cake tins. So haben wir es ja auch nicht. <lacht> Sehr schön. Turns out, she is an expert at drawing mandalas. Du machst das ganz prima, Tanja. The cake tins are lined all around with grease proof paper. And there are extra circles for covering the top of the cake. Next, we chop the nuts. The eggs go into a bowl and get whisked. Zwei. Dreieinhalb Unzen. Okay. Äh, dreieinhalb äh, Unzen. Dreieinhalb Unzen. Unzen, bitte. Äh, dreieinhalb Unzen von dem. Then combine the two different types of flour. Gemahlene Mandeln, bitte schön. The ground almonds. And the mixed spice in another bowl. Ja, Lebkuchengewürz. Eins. Eins, äh, alles einmal rein, ja. Add the nuts and eggs. Und dann umrühren. Rühre, rühre Kuchen. Der Bäcker hat gerufen. Äh, wie geht das weiter? Äh, einen Kuchen backen. Dazu braucht man sieben Sachen. Wenn Butter und Schmalz, Eier und Salz, und Milch und Milch. <lacht> Du kannst das irgendwie noch besser als ich. Ähm, Schmalz haben wir aber noch nicht rein. Komm jetzt. Then put the butter and sugar in a large bowl and mix well. Genug. Da müssen wir nochmal die Kuh melken gehen. Vollwertige Mahlzeit. Vollwertige Mahlzeit. Brauner Zucker. Ja. Sechs Unzen. Komm. Das ist doch äh, Muskelbildung hier. Hm. Add the eggs bit by bit. Ja, oh, 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 oh. <lacht> Und rühren, kräftig rühren. Jawohl, Mette. <lacht> Stunden Orange. später. Orange, mach den Kuchen gel. <lacht> Grated Orange and Lemon Rind next. <lacht> At this stage, we needed our motivational drummer to keep us going. <laughs> then add the golden syrup and the flour mixture, one spoonful at a time. 
Ja, okay. alles rein. Finally, add the fruit. Mix well. Then put the cake into the tin. We have two tins here because we are baking the double amount. One for us here and one for Tanya to take home to her family. Off into the oven for three to four hours at 160 degrees Celsius. After half an hour baking time, cover the top of the cake with the extra circle of greaseproof paper. This will prevent the cake from browning too quickly on top. Let's have a look. Ta -da. Springy. The cake is done when it feels springy and when nothing sticks to the wooden skewer. sticking on it. Let the cake cool completely, then take it out of the tin. Remove the greaseproof paper and wrap in tin foil and a plastic bag. Store in a cool place. Every week or so, unwrap the cake and sprinkle some brandy or rum over it. After four weeks, or just before Christmas, whichever comes first, wrap the cake in marzipan. Icing sugar sprinkled on the tabletop and the rolling pin stops the marzipan from sticking. I actually filmed this part last year, so that I could show you the whole process in this video. Then make the icing. There are different sorts of icing. I always use a simple icing made of sieved icing sugar mixed with water into a thick paste. Cover the whole cake with icing. When the icing is still sticky, decorate the cake. Be as creative as you like. Here I use whole peeled almonds, glazed cherries, coloured sugar paste and flaked almonds for the sides. But we can't oh, call it Christmas cake, we've got to call it something else. Right along the line? Oh. No, we... There we go. Now. Did you see that thing on sugar on the on the Facebook there? Some, yeah, some, it's some good for you. Sugar. Happy Christmas and good eating everyone.